name is me, Kevin Smith. We're here at the IMDb studio here at Sundance 2018. And look, it's the director and cast of What They Had. Give it up for him, ladies and gentlemen. I'm smiling because I just saw Blythe wake up, man. <laughs> that was funny. You were like, what the? No, she wants whatever you, you drank this morning. Yeah. I, is that it a makes some hot chocolate here that's espresso? killer. Absolutely killer. Uh, let's start with you, Elizabeth. Your flick, based on something that came from your life. Is this correct? Yeah, it's uh, inspired by some things in my family and people that I love. And I didn't really feel like I had much of a choice in the matter, quite frankly. Mm. Um, I think it was sort of a, came out of a place of like needing to control time and grief and not really willing or able to let go of things and people that I had loved so much. So um, hard, but you know, good, mm. good. Swank, what drew you to this? Um, the honesty, the honesty in which it was written, the honesty in which Elizabeth, you know, shared in the meeting. Um, you know, as she just said, it's, it's, it was something she had to do and you feel that. And that's really what we're here to do, right? Is to do those things that compel us, you know, dis di the dysfunctional families, which we all have a little bit of, and you know, everyone can relate to it in a lot of different ways. Mm, beautiful. Blythe, this is gonna get weird, man, but I gotta put this on Front Street because I'll never get the chance again. You were my favorite Great movie, movie mom. Oh, and good. I always wanted good. you to be my mom in real life, which means I always wanted to be Gwyneth Paltrow, <laughs> I guess. Um, <laughs> Uh, you, this Pelt. this is an yeah. acting challenge and a half, I would yeah. imagine. And, and you're always up to the acting well, challenge. Was, We've seen uh, your full career. I was hired because I have no memory. <laughs> <laughs> and Elizabeth knew like, that about let's me. Let's go real as yeah. possible. And that's why I was chosen. I'm, I'm very grateful for that. No, I was basically, I hate to admit it, but spoon-fed this, this performance by this ge ge genius woman. Uh, Ms. Farmiga, uh, what draws you into this flick? Um, well, one, I... I mean, I love stories about dysfunctional families because no family is perfect, no matter how beautiful your family portrait is. Again, I agree with uh, Elizabeth's need to tell this story. And because I had such a, a personal relationship with it, my grandma had Alzheimer's and passed away from it. Mm. I could relate and I, I, I love when I can connect to something so emotionally um, when I jumped on board. There's a guy, he acts a lot, man. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite actors in the world, Michael Shannon. Mm. What drew you to the project? Oh, wow, well, I. I met with Elizabeth, and uh, I could just tell that uh, the story meant a lot to her. Because the way I look at it, it's my job to help people tell stories. And uh, if I meet with the filmmaker and I can tell that if they don't tell this story, their heart's going to explode or something, I'll, I'll be like, well, I don't want your heart to explode. So <laughs> I'll help you tell your story. Yeah. Because, yeah, I have two That's kids. That's going to be my new ringtone, is yeah. you going, I don't want your heart to explode. Exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I can do it if you piss me off. 